Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. Isn't it cute? Okay, so this is my Christmas version of the 12 Weeks of Halloween number three. So this was the project I showed you last week, and here's my Christmas version. <laughs> They're both so cute, aren't they? Okay, so the supplies are the same as far as measurements and everything. I did make one teeny tiny change. The designer series paper for this one is um, one and three eighths by one and three eighths. You need four of those. A piece of Whisper White that is one and a half by two and a half. And then your crumb cake is seven and three quarters by four and five eighths. And then we're going to cut out a little house here out of the Candy Cane Lane designer series paper. The stamp set is see have a mayor what is it have the merriest christmas and that is from the christmas taggables photopolymer stamp set this is one of the very first photopolymer stamp sets we had and it is still available um the item number will be on the screen and it will also be on my website okay so we're going to start with scoring our box we're going to place it on the landscape side which is the seven three quarters and we're going to score it at one and a half three and an eighth four and five eighths, and six and a quarter. Turn it on the portrait side, which is the uh, four and five eighths side, and we're gonna score it at one and a half, and three and an eighth. So now we're gonna cut. Let me get my template out so that you can see that. So I'm gonna start down here on the right side, and if you watched my uh, video for the Halloween, the cutting is the same. Okay, so over here, I'm going to cut up to the score line, cut up to the score line. We're not going to cut that one. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So cut up to the score line, cut up to the score line. And then down here, we're going to cut up to the score line from the portrait end. Okay, so like that. Now we want to place our adhesive on here. So we're going to put adhesive on the back side of these two and the inside of these two. I'm just going to use my snail. It's what I actually have at my table right now. I had to move my uh, video station back to where it was until I can get some more lighting. Okay, to assemble, I'm just going to bring that up. Let me fold these down just a tad. So then I'm just going to fold this over. Just like that. And I think I just added that one crooked. <laughs> okay. It's going to get covered up with designer series paper, so it'll be fine. Okay, so this is the front of my box because there's no seam. If you look on the back side, you will notice that a little bit. So this is the front. So I'm going to place these inside and then bring this together. And I'm going to take a little clip and just hold that together right now while I get everything else ready. So I'm going to take the crumb cake, card, um, crumb cake ink. I'm going to sponge the box and all four pieces of the designer series paper. This is my second attempt at filming this video. Um, I filmed it last night at my other station and oh, it was so dark. Okay, now the box. While I'm sponging, head over to my website, leave a comment to enter to win. I do already have the kit ready. Um, and we, if someone asked me again the other day, where's the winners posted? We typically email the winners if we have your email address, but there is a, um, a winners page dedicated only to the names that, that win my drawings. So it is over there. If you can't find it, let me know and I will point you in the right direction. Okay, so now I'm going to cut out this little house and try to stay in the camera and try to cut it properly. I did not bring my good scissors 
because I moved back to my old video station, now my adhesive is move, missing and my um, my scissors. I almost cut too much. I selected to remove the candy canes only because it's a little hot, hot, harder to cut around. I can't talk today. Okay. Okay, so let's add our designer series paper to the box. And I just realized I need to stamp that image real quick so that I can give it a minute to dry. So let's add these little designer series paper panels. Okay, Whisper White, Early Espresso, Christmas Taggable Stamp Set, and we need to give that a minute to dry. So while that's drying, we will go ahead and add our um, linen thread and baker's twine. So on my original, on this one, I put the holes pretty much side by side in the middle. And then when I made this one, I put the, the holes for the twine on the extreme end on each side. It doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna go back to the, the, the two holes side by side. I'm gonna try to make them side by side. I have discovered that I can't really judge the middle too well, although that looks pretty good. So I'm taking two pieces of the linen thread and two pieces of the real red and I'm giving myself a little extra because I need it okay I think that's good now you see I just doubled it Hopefully I can thread it through here without having to start and stop. Yes, I did it on the first try, I think. Okay, so now that I finally have the um, <laughs> twine threaded through, my, through the holes up there, I'm going to tie my bow. I'm laughing because I ripped my box and so I had to um, make a new box behind the scenes. Okay. Just want to make it a little bit bigger of a bow. There we go. And trim the ends. Okay. Now we're going to take the little house. Now I did put one on each side, um, but to save myself some time and my paper, I'm just going to add one to the front, but I do think it looks cuter when you add one on the back side as well. Isn't that cute? Now let's cut out our little greeting here. And then I'm going to sponge the edge just to match everything else. 
and then we're going to add it with a glue dot. <laughs> and I'm just going to add it right under the little bow at an angle. Okay, so there they both are. Aren't they cute? Oh, I just love it. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.